Hello everyone, my name is Dan Hook, and I'm currently writing my first fictional novel. It's post-apocalyptic, dystopian, set on like an alternative earth, so it still kind of shares the same, you know, landscapes and such, but tweaked slightly. Um, and I thought I'd talk about the world building process that I went through when making my novel and establishing this world. Now, it is my first book, and hopefully will be one of many, but for now I was just going to talk about how I essentially I made the world first and I drew a little map up and done some landscapes, made a few unique points of interest such as either ground zero where an atomic bomb went off, um, craters or shipwrecks washed up just to give a bit of history alongside furthering the plot slightly and also giving some backstory which hopefully would ground the characters that I then made to fit in to this universe. So, you know, I, I named the cities and the towns. I did think initially I could just call it, you know, London or Paris. But then I thought, what's better than that? Maybe edgier names, ones that fit the theme better of a post-apocalyptic world, so I could call it Rosette or Carbon City. Sure, sure, I know it could have just been London, but... I'm thinking, like, for the time period that this is set in, it's set, you know, a few hundred years after, I'm thinking at the moment, could be could be changed, I don't know, um, that, you know, they're probably not really going to remember why the war happened. They're probably not going to remember the names or care of what the names of the old cities or towns were that were half destroyed and then rebuilt upon. Uh, so giving them these new and original names just felt like the right thing to do. And then, obviously, plopping my characters down, basing them around either where they're living and then giving them the storyline to go through this world that I have already established would make it more believable. I mean, I'm sure that you could make the character and then make the world around the character. Um, I'm sure that works just as well. But for me, I still was undecided on what I wanted the main storyline to be, which sounds kind of bad, but I knew the world that I wanted to make. So I thought if I make the world first, it'll give me a better indication of where the characters are from and what they're going to be up to and what they're like. Although I haven't actually had anyone read it yet, so it could be possible that what I'm writing is a complete load of shit. But anyway, yeah, I've kind of forgot to mention, yeah, my, this world building video, kind of how i done it, I guess it applies to not just earth type world building, but for me, earth type building, of course, if you're going to build something that is like along the line of Star Wars, where you've got a bazillion planets going on with all with their different moons and gravities and ecosystems then uh, i suppose it's probably a little bit more complex than that and that's some serious world building but for me it was more of just mark the towns mark the territories mark the different climates rainforests swamps deserts toxic zones but yeah i think i might stop it there for this video but like for me that's kind of how world building has impacted my story and given me the ideas and plot points to work on from just drawing up the groundwork. But how has world building helped you? I mean, do you find that you need to make the world first and then plot the characters in it? Or do you think that you need to make the characters first? Is there a character that you really want to make and then you just sort of make the world around it? Or is there even though no you know, is there a reason to build a world? Should it just be an Earth? Should I just, you know, just plop a character on Earth? But no, no, for me, I think it was crucial, at least a little bit, because it wasn't just Earth. It was post-apocalyptic Earth in an alternative universe, you know, know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. So let me know if you've got any comments or tips with world building itself below, because I probably could use them. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching this video.